Hi there. In this video I want to go over the basics of PHP and explain what PHP is and, and uh, what it's about and how it's a really really great language if you are a developer that you probably ought to really get involved with. PHP is currently the most popular method of getting data out of databases and presenting that on websites. Some very, very huge websites such as uh, Facebook, Twitter, places like that uh, are based on PHP. And what is PHP exactly? PHP is a server-side scripting language and uh, you can look it up on Wikipedia and get more involved with it as far as learning what it does and who made it, the history, licensing various versions of PHP that have come out over over a period of time and how it's used and etc and the graphic user interfaces. Uh, PHP stands for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor and uh, it's kind of interesting because the first P stands for PHP which actually stands for personal home page so the correct uh, complete breakdown of PHP is personal home page hypertext preprocessor but uh, it's been shortened to PHP which is PHP hypertext preprocessor etc so anyway enough of that uh, I'm, I just want to show you something real quick I want to get this on the screen so you can back up to it uh, this is a site that I have called Flora blog and in Flora Blog, I have an automatic tweeting device that tweets, and this is written in PHP. And we'll get into this later, but I'll, I'll come back to this. But I just want you to note that this uh, posts approximately every five to ten minutes because I've set this up on a schedule, and I don't have to be anywhere near it. Also, uh, if you click on one of the links in there, I'll go ahead and do that it will take you to a website that is completely PHP driven now I wrote this site about three months ago or so and I have never written an article in this yet it has over 87,766 stories in it at this point because basically what's happening here is a PHP script goes and reads 83 news feeds from various newspapers and things like that and it puts them into a database. Now without PHP this would be impossible. I actually have three sites like this so I have uh, news being collected all day long every day and then it goes out on Twitter and you'll see in a few minutes I'll come back to this and and we'll go to that. But anyway back to this back to PHP. PHP exists on the server side uh, it's not like an HTML document for example, you look at an HTML document and you can go and view source code on an HTML document and you can see everything that's going on in the back of an HTML document. So let's go back to the PHP for example and I've got just a very simple uh, test PHP file here and we'll open that in the browser and you can see this is in in a text editor and you can see where it says PHP echo hello world good night done and this is just a mini script that I did for uh, XAMPP installation which is also a part of this series so we go back to the browser here and we look at this in the browser and you can see that all it's going to show you is hello world good night done now if this was an HTML document rather than a PHP you could right click and you could view page source and you would see every tag that it was involved however with the PHP and you can combine PHP with HTML with the PHP you don't see those tags let me go back to that you see the PHP tag and the echo tag you don't see those the reason you don't see those is because it's processed on the server it's not uh, sent to your browser for processing. There, it, it processes the information you put in it on the server side and then it outputs to your browser exactly what you want it to output. So nobody can see your PHP file and that's a good thing. 
uh, you can write some really serious code in PHP. PHP uses a convention of uh, a lot of tags. There's, there's uh, so many functions in PHP. Uh, echo is what one of the functions that puts the information on the page. Uh, very interesting thing about PHP and querying databases, which is a little long for this structure right here, is you have what's called a variable. And the variables are defined by this dollar sign right here. And you can put, let's, I'll just call this variable. You can put almost anything into this variable and then you can echo it out or you can do other things with it. Now going back to the uh, uh, thing that I had made with the news stream, I'm um, going to go through just a few of the variables that exist in here. Uh, you have include files which you can put other things that, uh, other files, and once you include those files then they're in the in the script. For example with HTML every time you want to make a menu you have to include that uh, you have to write the entire menu code in the in the document uh, with PHP you simply include it into the document you include a uh, connection script to your database and that way you don't have to put your database information in each and every page uh, this FID is uh, basically the question mark at the end of the URL that tells this script what to get. And if you look this script over, it's really not that long. And it serves every one of 86, 87,000 stories. All of them come through this script. And, and the largest part of this script, really, is my AdSense that comes through in three places. But, uh, and a lot of those are also in include files as well. But uh, yeah, you, you can add a bunch of code to this. You can, you can have variables. You can query databases. You can pull information and data off of RSS feeds. You can do uh, a lot of wonderful things. Now we'll go back to this Flora blog, for example, real quick here. And you can see that while I've been on here talking the entire time, another tweet has happened and that is a PHP script. That happened four minutes ago. There's a brand new story. Uh, every two minutes my scripts pull these stories off of uh, various newspapers websites through their RSS feeds, puts it on my database, and then tweets it out to at this point uh, 2455 followers. So you can you can create a powerful hands-free system with PHP and this series I'm gonna go ahead and make a whole bunch of uh, scripts I'm gonna show you the functionality of PHP this is basically just serving as an introduction and the PHP I'll be building websites that pull various APIs application program interfaces uh, I'll show you how to automatically tweet things on a time schedule I'll show you how to collect data from RSS feeds such as blogs, newspapers, etc. Uh, I'll show you how to build databases that can contain your data of things like, for example, uh, YouTube videos. All of my videos are going to go onto a website that I'm going to build in real time here. So PHP is a very, very valuable and powerful asset for your web development needs. And if you're not developing in PHP, uh, you should definitely take a look at it and hopefully you will uh, watch my videos. Check for a link down below as soon as I start building this website and, and put uh, all the information in that I need to put in there so that it's functional. Uh, probably within the next few days I will have that website going so that you can follow this series from beginning to end and pick out just the lessons that you need. And that's all I have for this. Thank you very much, and I hope you come back and watch all of my PHP lessons. Thanks.